Hi Aries, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This is going to be an overview of your energy for the month of June 2023, where I'll be taking a look at your overall energies, the challenges you've dealt with for the month, what you have achieved so far and what you need to continue working on. So Aries, let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. I hope you're doing well Aries. So Aries, uh, your overall energy for the month is the world. So uh, that's closing off with a certain chapter in your life, closing a certain cycle. The challenges that you dealt with is the six of wands. Now, this is a positive energy. This is a, um, a feeling, this is an energy of feeling good, an energy of recognition um, of yourself or by other people. We clarify all the cards. Uh, later we'll just go through what we have on the table now uh, what you've achieved uh, for the month of June is the ten of Pentacles so Aries you have um, start you have uh, you know this cannot this is something that is long term so it's not like you started this in June but something is starting to come to fruition uh, something long term uh, this could be finance related or just a property or home uh, we'll clarify that um, and what you need to continue working on is uh, the Queen of Cups so uh, I think uh, Aries you have been working uh, with your emotions for this month uh, maybe you've been working on being a confidant to somebody or just uh, showing more compassion towards somebody or just people around you in general if it's not related to a specific person because this is this energy this reading focuses on your energy and whoever comes in contact with you so it says so you could be dealing with the water sign with the queen of cups that is uh, uh, pisces scorpio cancer uh, maybe you've worked something out with this boss with a water sign and if not it's you who's been embodying this energy as the queen of cups where you're starting where you're showing more compassion than usual and loving unconditionally um, you know the queen of cups is a very loving energy but um, anyway we clarify that uh, let's uh, clarify first why we have the world for your overall energy for the month why the world for aries in the overall energy so for the world we get the devil Three of Wands and the Three of Swords. Oh my God, Aries, this is tough. Uh, I did a short for you recently, a YouTube short, and there was the Three of Swords there as well. So clearly, I mean, this is this seems like a continuation. You're you're closing a painful cycle, and you're looking forward to you know expanding your. Uh, your horizons like whether it be project related work related or collaborating with other people usually the three is like collaboration um you feel like you're ready to move on and expand but you have the three of swords here and also the devil so just give me a minute here and i'm not a minute aries just a few seconds yeah, um you know Aries, the only thing that's coming to my mind is that you feel like you're ready to move on and expand when it comes to a certain relationship or situation or a person. You feel like you're ready to move on from the two to the three to the four. But actually, you know, there is some healing that you need to do with the three of swords. Uh, and you know what? Uh, in the short that I did for you, the six of wands was there as well and it had flipped out in the reverse 
and you will clarify that later which is your uh, which is the challenge you dealt with but for now you know with the devil i don't see anything really terrible but i think you're carrying some pain that needs to be addressed which you could be turning your back to that's the only thing that i can think of for now aries because uh, and this is all clarifying the world so there is a cycle that's coming to an end and i think there is a need for you to before you move on to the next person the next project or the next situation or whether it is whichever whatever it may be you know but with the with the three of swords there's some healing that needs to be done um let's uh clarify why you have the six of uh, six of wands in your challenge for the month of june because that's a great energy and it's in the challenge position so it confuses me your challenges you have, for your challenge you have the three of cups the five of wands and the two of cups all right i i get it aries um i think i think you you've been dealing with somebody who is a part of a group dynamic and uh you know there could be someone you connect with more than connect than you connect with the other and there is some conflict around this uh this is all clarifying the 6 of wands you know these are all positive cards the 6 of wands the 6 of wands the the three of cups and the two of cups like this is friendship and getting together having fun fun times you know party sometimes even this is like mutual feelings between two people whether it be love friendship respect a sense of partnership it's reciprocated well well it's all there but in the middle of that there's like conflict and there's like five other people so aries there could be a lot of people involved in your situation i see a lot of people there's three and then there's five and there's two there's like 10 people here I'm not saying you're dealing with ten people, but there's just a lot of energies that's interfering. And with the two of cups, this is like a great energy, but there's a lot of interference. Now with the six of wands, now I get why it's in the challenge position because I think with all these people interfering and like with so many cooks in the broth, it's been difficult for you to actually recognize and feel good about this connection that's there, and it's been challenging actually. like something that is supposed to feel good with the two of cups you know what the six of wands has turned into like a conflict of some kind between people there could be competition aries in the whole dynamic that you're in but it doesn't look like so much fun uh but there's love so you know but there's people interfering as well and Anyway, let's move on to what you have achieved for the month. Sometimes I just ramble. What uh, you what you have achieved for the month is the Ten of Pentacles, which is there. So why the Ten of Pentacles for Aries? For what they've achieved. Right, and it's in. Why the Ten of Pentacles for what Aries has achieved? pentacles oh my god aries uh, you know what in the shot that i did for you we had like the six of uh we had the six of wands in reverse with the three of swords and then the queen of wands so it's here again and i had in 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 the message i said it and it seems like a bit repetitive but i've got to give the message that you're working with your 
your work you're tapping into yourself at this time working with your self knowledge and what you know about yourself in order to raise your vibration and move to the nine of pentacles and you have the nine and the ten so i don't know aries if you're you know establishing something about uh yourself with the queen of wands in a certain dynamic but i think you're just you've got a momentum right now because there's the 9 and the 10 and the queen of wands like she goes for whatever she wants and uh also uh you know the queen of wands is um uh, she also sees like you could be spiritual yourself aries with the queen of wands um uh, but your spiritual knowledge is about you have a lot of spiritual knowledge about yourself which you're using to uh you know leverage yourself up from the 9 to the 10 and this is there in your achievement and the moon is here i think you're doing this subconsciously like you're doing this unknowingly like i'm not sure if you're like doing doing this deliberately like i want to raise my vibration or i want to know myself and raise my vibration i think it's like happening subconsciously where you may not be so aware of the fact that you're raising your vibration and you're moving towards um a lot of stability especially financially and home wise like home wise as in like the ten of pentacles like a house or a building can signify a home and the nine of pentacles is like really being just self sufficient so is the queen of wands these are great energies everything is great except for the fact that you need some healing to do aries before and you have your back turned to this so you got to heal before you move on uh now what you need to continue working on into this uh, for the remaining days of this month and into the next month is the queen of cups so let's get three cards for that we have two cards that flipped out we have the death and the judgment and the page of swords so aries it looks like you could actually be dealing with a water sign uh, who you have been maintaining your distance from because there's been some kind of some kind of ending between the two of you like an ending of a certain dynamic and someone might have called uh, judgment you or this person like um not giving any more chances but with the page of swords i think you're keeping distance from this person and uh if this is what you're doing then the advice is to continue keeping your distance um if it is not if it is you that is in the queen of cups energy then the queen of cups is about working with your emotions getting in touch with your emotions and um queen of cups really understands feelings of herself and even of those around her so maybe aries you have been trying to understand somebody's feelings uh, with the death again you could be dealing with a scorpio and with the judgment and the queen of cups this is like a lot of scorpio energy but not necessary um something has ended and there is a chance for renewal this is another message that i'm getting because the death is like something coming to an end but but the but the judgment is about things rising up up from the dead so uh, something could be coming back to life with uh, a water sign aries someone you've been maintaining distance from all right aries uh, we'll get three more cards as guidance from the universe boom okay this is fine i thought i Shop with the deck upside down. Three cards for guidance for Aries. So we have the Knight of Swords, the Hangman, and the Four of Wands. So. Uh, Yeah, you had three of wands as well, and now you had the four of wands. So you're moving on to uh, more stability, 
uh, as the month progresses with the four of wands whether it be related to work relationship or home the four of wands is just overall a great energy but but the knight of swords and the the hangman are, are a bit of a contradiction and i'm confused again because this guy wants to charge ahead and this guy doesn't move so uh, there he is There is uh, another situation, another message that I get is that you could be actually stuck in a certain environment with the hangman and the four of wands. You could be uh, feeling uh, like the hangman is often like a guy, who, a person who's being punished. You know, you could be you could be feeling stuck with somebody. And it brings me back to all these people that are there interfering. Uh, you, you need to charge ahead. You know that you've made up your mind. You know that you want to charge ahead. But it's a matter of time until you do it. Like this is like mental energy. So like you know that you want to move. But you're not moving really with the hangman. You're staying where you are. Which is this dynamic. But your mind is moving somewhere else away from this dynamic, which is already there. All right, Aries, that is what I have for you. If you're still watching, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for uh, um, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'm truly grateful for your kindness. And um, take care, and I will catch you soon again later. Bye.